Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty kind of vintage lace granny square and it's a fairly solid pattern because I'm actually making this to do a, a crocheted purse. So I wanted a, a tight uh, finished granny square that um, didn't have a lot of holes in it. So yeah, so this is um, going to be for another project, which I will be putting a link below when it's all done. And so for this project, I'm actually using some yarn that I found here, this big spool of yarn that I found at the thrift store, for like two bucks. And I think, I don't know what it is, but I think it's a rayon yarn. And uh, it's probably about a, a number three uh, weight yarn. And so, I mean, you can use any, any size you like, really. And then you're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using a four millimeter or G6 crochet hook, a darning needle, and some scissors. So let's get started. All right, to begin, we're going to start with a slip knot. And if you're new to crochet, you can check out my beginner crochet series. And while this may be a slightly more advanced, um, square it it really isn't i mean the only thing that you'll be doing that's a little bit different is this uh, front post double crochet and half double crochet and i'll show you how to do that so you know if you're confident you could take this on so put the slip knot on your hook and start with a chain four oops and then you're going to create a ring by going into the top loop of your beginning chain with a slip stitch. And then chain three. And this counts as a beginning treble crochet. So now we're going to do 19 treble crochets into the ring. So to do a treble, you're going to yarn over twice, go into, your ring, into the ring, wrap the yarn from behind. You'll have four loops on your hook yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that's your first treble. And then you're going to yarn over again, yarn over twice, go through the ring, bring your yarn in from behind, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over through two loops. So you're going to do 19 of those all together. So including your first beginning chain three, you'll have 20 trebles. So I'll see you at the other end. And welcome back. So I've done 19 treble crochets. And then we're going to join this round by going into the third chain of your beginning chain three with a slip stitch. Now, this square is crocheted all in the same color. And in theory, round two, we would carry on but we're actually going to fasten off and the reason for that is for this front post double crochet because we actually work this in the back of the square and i mean maybe you can figure out a way to do this but when i was doing my sample here and trying to figure out this pattern i couldn't get i couldn't get back to this stitch in the back without having this funny lump here. And it was the same here when we do this back post double crochet for the last row. So, I mean, maybe there's a way to do it. I couldn't figure it out. So I'm just going to cut the yarn and um, you can do a chain one to fasten off or just fasten off whatever you like. I'm going to do a chain one to fasten off and and then we're going to start row two. So for row two, you're going to be working into the back of your work. However, <laughs> we're going to join on in the front of the work and then turn it. So it's all about knots and where they are. I mean, you can pull the knots through to the back, but um, so just start with a slip knot. Put that on your hook and going into the front of your work. You can go into any space between your, your um, treble crochets there and you join on with a slip knot and bring your tail over and snug just like that. And by joining on in the front, then your knot is actually in the back of your work. That's where you want it to be. 
Okay, so you're going to turn your work and now we're working into the back of the work. And what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and we're going to do a front post double crochet. So what you do is you go into this treble crochet from the previous row and go underneath a stitch like that as if you're doing a half double crochet. Got my yarns kind of mucked up there. Yeah, that's because this is the first one. So we're going to do a half double cro front post double crochet. So go in behind this post as if you're going to do a double crochet. Bring your yarn in behind that post. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's your half double crochet. Then you're going to chain one and we're going to do a half double crochet, front post half double crochet under the next post. So again, yarning over, putting your hook underneath that treble crochet post, bringing your yarn through, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops and then chain one. We're just going to do this all the way around. So I'll do it one more time. So yarn over, go in underneath that treble crochet post, bring your yarn through and complete your half double crochet. So you'll do that all the way around and I will see you on the other side. Welcome back. So I'm just coming to the end of this row here. So I just have one more front post half double crochet to do. And then a chain one. And then you'll join this round by going into the top of that first um, half double crochet, going under both loops. And join with a slip stitch. And then you're going to chain one and turn your work. So you can see here how this looks. So this is your, your ending um, stitch from round one. So you want to darn that in and try to hide that little knot there in behind here. So you just bring the yarn through and, and darn it into the back there. But you can see how that makes a really nice raised um, textured uh, stitch. So now for round three, what we're going to do is a puff stitch. So to do a puff stitch, you're going to yarn over and go into the chain one space, grab the yarn from behind, pull it up on your loop, on your hook, I mean, and then yarn over again, back into the chain one space, pull that up on your hook, and one more time, and up on your hook. So you're pulling, going through three times, you'll end up with seven stitches or seven loops on your hook. And then yarn over and pull through all seven loops and then chain one. And that's the first puff stitch. So I'll do that again. So yarn over, go into the next chain one space, bring the yarn up through, keep, so that'll be three loops on your hook, yarn over, back into the chain one space. You'll now have five loops on your hook, yarn over, back into the chain one space. You'll have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all seven loops. Hopefully not getting snagged up. There we go. And then chain one. And you're going to do that all the way around, but we are going to work the corners in a certain way. So I'll just speed this up till we get to the corner puff. All right. So I've done four puff stitches. So now we're going to work a corner. So we're going to do two puff stitches into this chain one space. So yarn over, pull the yarn up through. You can do that so a second time and a third time. Pull all your stitches through, chain one, and then you'll do another puff stitch in there. So yarn over, bring the yarn up through, twice, three times, yarn over through all those loops, and then chain one. And then you're just going to carry on all the way around. So in every fifth stitch, you're going to do two sets of puff stitches with them um, in, in every fifth stitch. So go ahead and do that all the way around and I'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back. So here I am coming out of my last corner and I've done my two puff stitches into this chain one space and we're going to join into the top stitch of that beginning puff stitch with a slip stitch. 
and then you will have 24 puff stitches all the way around. So going on to the next row, you're just going to do a chain two, and this counts as a beginning double crochet. And that is as if you're going into this chain one space. So then you're going to do a double crochet into the top stitch of that next puff stitch and then a double crochet into the chain one space and a double crochet into the top of the next puff stitch and you're going to do that all the way to over to the corner okay so we're coming to the corner here with the two puff stitches in the chain one space so you want to do a double crochet into that the top of that puff stitch going into the corner and then you're going to do a double crochet into the chain one space. And then you're going to do two treble crochets into that chain two space, chain one space. So yarn over twice and work your treble. And then work another treble. And then one more double crochet into that chain one space and that's how you you'll work every corner all the way along and then when you come out of that corner you're going to do a double crochet into the top of the puff stitch coming out of the corner and then a double crochet into the chain one space and you're going to do that all the way around and you'll see here what that does is it creates a nice nice square corner so go ahead and work your way around and I'll see you on this side. Welcome back. So I'm just coming around and I've done my double crochet into that chain one space and then I'll do the double crochet into the top of that puff stitch coming into the last corner and then just work the corner as usual with a double crochet, two treble crochets, and another double crochet and then as you come out of this corner you should just have the top of the lap this puff stitch coming out of the corner you're going to do a double crochet into there and then you're going to join this round by going into not the first stitch or second stitch of the beginning chain two but this third one and you're going to do a slip stitch and then fasten off because we're going to turn our work again here. So just fasten off just like that. And then we'll start the next row. Welcome back. So I've darned in all my tail ends. And so now we're going to be doing the final row, which is working into the, it's a front post double crochet. If you can figure out a way to carry on with a continuous yarn and not have this little bump here because you have to turn your work, by all means, go ahead. I couldn't figure it out. So the way I'm doing it as we did here is just joining on a new round. So join on with a slip knot and put that on your hook and we're actually going to join on in the front of the work and you can join on in any corner going in between the trip the two treble crochets you're going to join on with a slip stitch and that's so that the knot is going to be in the back and let's see yeah so we'll turn our work and then you can chain two and that's going to be your your beginning double crochet and see now your knot is in the back of the work and we're working into the back of the work. So now you're going to do another double crochet into that chain one space or in, in between those, um, those treble crochets. And then you're going to do a front post double crochet. So yarn over, put your yarn under that, that uh, treble there, bring the yarn through and work a double crochet. just like that. And then you're going to do another front post double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over, go underneath that post and do a double crochet. And again, and you're going to do a front post double crochet 
into each um, double crochet from the previous row working all the way around and make sure not to skip one it can be easy to skip it and just like that so go ahead and then um, carry on and I'll see you in the corner and I'll show you what we're going to do in the corner so front post double crochet into each double crochet from the previous row and I'll see you in the corner okay so here I am I'm coming into the corner so I've got my double crochet post my treble crochet post and then the uh, the space in between the two trebles so you're going to do your front post double crochet into that double crochet a front post double crochet into the treble crochet and then two double crochets into that space between the uh, the two trebles not this is going to be your corner just like that and then you'll carry on do a front post double crochet into that treble coming out of the corner and a front post double crochet into the double coming out of the corner and then you're just going to carry on doing your front post double crochets into all the double crochets from the previous row and working your corner in the same way and you'll see here what what we're creating is this this really nice raised stitch and then you just have your two double crochets in each corner so carry on and work your way around and then I'll see you at the other side and I just wanted to show you here so when you're coming around you're going to come to this your beginning chain I um, can't remember what I did there two or three and so you've done your front post double crochet you want to make sure to do the the chain space of course so you want to do your front post double crochet and catch that that beginning chain uh, from the previous row and you'll come across that depending on which corner you you start in you know so yeah so just make sure to catch that beginning uh, chain which is a double crochet and carry on all the way around all right so I'm just coming to the end of this round and coming into this corner so I've got my front post double crochet into the double crochet of um, the previous row and then a front post double crochet into the treble crochet of the previous row and then we are going to join this and um, if you've seen any of my other crochet videos whenever I do a last round I like to join with this invisible stitch so that you don't have a knot to um, to work into so you just cut your yarn and um, bring the, the yarn through just like that and then you put your darning needle on and then what you're going to do is you've got your your beginning chains here and you're actually going to go over to you'll see this is your your first front post double crochet and you're going to go over to that and pick up those two loops there and and come in from behind and then bring this over and you're going to lay this stitch sort of on top of this this chain stitch here kind of bring it together and what you're doing is you're mimicking the stitch now because this is actually the front of our work normally I come around and I come in through the the front here or which would be the back but in in this case it's it's you're going in between the v-stitch you're going to go in between the v-stitch there but you're going to sort of bring the the darning needle in through what is the work facing you which is actually the back of the work because we're working into the reverse side of this and then you're going to just bring that in just like that and just lay it on top of that that stitch like you're you're mimicking it just like that and then you would darn in that tail end from the back all right so I just zoomed out a little bit so you could see this better so um, you can block this either using a blocking board or I have a hand steamer that I use uh, to block this and of course you could use this for any number of projects I am going to be using it in a, a purse project so make sure to check the 
uh, description box below when I have that done I'll add it into the description box so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more creative and inspiring videos thank you for joining me